Hello YouTube, ArcherZZ here, and this starts, this is the beginning of my How to Ride a Motorcycle Part 2 video. This video is going to cover basic riding in a parking lot, uh, how to turn your bike on, and basic clutch control and things that you should practice and have down before you go out on the road. It's simple stuff, it just takes a little bit of practice to master. Um, you'll probably stall your bike out the first few times. This is no big deal. I did it. Everyone does it. It's just a fact of life. Don't, don't sweat it too much. It happens. What's really fun is whenever you stall your bike out at a stop sign in front of a bunch of girls. So you want to practice this in a parking lot to prepare yourself for that. And girls, if you stall your bike out at a stop sign in front of guys, it's also embarrassing. So... Practice makes perfect, and we'll practice this so we don't embarrass ourselves in front of attractive people. I'll leave it at that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my bike on, and I'm going to put it in first gear, and I'm going to do a nice wide sweeping turn, and I'm just going to drive down through the parking lot and just explaining things. So as I said in my first video, um, if you haven't seen my first video, the link will be somewhere in the screen here and it'll take you to that and that's just walking around the bike what the controls are so I'm gonna pull the clutch in just out of habit and safety it's in neutral but I don't really need to do that but I do it anyways pull the front brake in same thing just habit good thing to it's a good habit to get into you're gonna flip the switch down into the uh, on position and then I'm just gonna press the uh, ignition or ignition engine start button this is the ignition so now that I'm still in neutral I can let go of the clutch lever and my bike's fine so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put pull in my clutch and I want to put my bike in first gear kickstand is up so I'm good to go so I'm in first gear sometimes it does a little lurch the engine the neutral light is off so I know I'm in first gear and you can find this out just by letting go of the clutch and you'll find what is called the engine friction or the friction zone and all that is is it's the zone where the bike will start to creep forward a little bit without any ignition and uh, you can actually go at nice slow speeds just by doing that and when you pull when you pull the clutch back in it stops so I'm gonna do that again you find the spot pull the clutch in and you can just walk your bike to a stop because there's no power pulling it anymore the clutch is disengaged engaged I'm not sure what the terminology is on that actually that's my bad YouTube I'm sorry I think I'm getting a cold and being out here in 50 degree weather is not helping that but I do because I love you YouTube I love you okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down here come to that stop sign and then I'm gonna swing around and there's another parking lot on the other side so I'm gonna leave my visor up just I'm gonna put it down safety first okay so you let go of the clutch and you find the friction zone and then you ease on the gas and you go it's as simple as that now I've let go of the clutch and it's all on the throttle um, now I'm coming to a stop I'll slowly pull on the clutch and I'll apply the front brake and back brake and now I've come to a stop so you come to a stop you look left you look right you look left and you look right again safety you're gonna ease off the uh, the clutch, ease onto the throttle, and you go. So you pull in the clutch, and you, you don't even need the brake. I'm slowing down because there's no drive. So you pull on the front brake. In my situation, that's what I used. And you come to a stop. And that is basic clutch control. This is something that you want to practice over and over again until you get it down pat. And that's just easing out and finding the friction zone and just walk your bike and you'll eventually get the muscle memory 
in place as to where the friction zone is located on your bike. And this is actually uh, leads into how I start and stop on a hill is that I actually just leave my bike in that friction zone and it's enough pull on the bike it's pushing my bike forward enough that I actually don't need the brake and it will uh, kind of hover me there if you will in that spot and then as I uh, as the light turns green or I'm ready to pull out I apply a little gas ease off the clutch more and I go it's pretty simple simple as that alright so I'm gonna pop my bike up in neutral just so I can motion with my hands alright so now that we have that covered, you got you practice your friction zone, you've done that, and you get it down pat, you, you've mastered it, you say, Archer ZZ, I know where my friction zone is, how do I shift? Well, I'll feed you baby birds, I'll tell you. What you're going to do is, just like before, you're going to get up, get going, you're going to move up to, uh, go up to the speed that you want, and uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell whenever your bike wants to shift. Um, your RPMs will rev to a certain certain spot on the tachometer or um, in my book it actually tells me approximate speeds that I should be shifting at I don't know them I don't care what they want me to shift at I know my bike and I know when it wants to shift but that might be a good guideline for you to start if you don't really know uh, if you don't know when, when, should sh when you should shift that's a good starting point and as you as you grow as a rider you'll start to figure out I know when I, I know when I should shift it's the same with a car is you know whenever your vehicle needs to shift when you need to downshift when you need to, to shift up to go a little faster or downshift to pass somebody the possibilities are endless but the point of the fact is you know whenever you, you need to do it so what I'm gonna do is as I, I'm going to take off here, and as I go, I'm going to, you'll see me let off the clutch, give it some, give it some throttle, and I'll be in first gear and I'll be driving, and then I'm going to let off the throttle and pull in the clutch, and then I'm going to kick up the clutch lever, which I went over down here, and it's going to, I'm going to push it up until it won't go anymore, and that's going to put my bike in second gear, and then I'm going to, give the bike a little bit of throttle and ease off the clutch and try to match the RPMs right here with where with the speed that I'm going and the bike might lurch a little bit if you're not experienced even I still I mess up my shifts quite frequently so I'm here to practice as well as give pointers so I'm gonna pull in my pull in my clutch put on my brake step the bike down and uh, just as before, I'm going to find the friction zone, give the bike some gas, and I'm going to go. I'm going to pull in the clutch, let off the gas, kick it up in a second, and now I'm in second gear. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to loop around here. Give it some more gas. Pull in the clutch, kick it up into third gear, and now I'm in third gear. And if you can see my RPMs, you'll notice that they are going they're lower than when they were before like in the, in the previous gear and now that I'm going at a slower speed my bike is laboring a little bit on the uh, because it's in a higher gear going at a lower RPM and it's it's the engine starting to sputter because it's not getting enough gas to actually go I'm gonna kick it up in neutral so that's ba that's basically it. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it one more loop, one more time, and I'll kick it up into second gear, and I'll I'll show you how how that's done. Um, but as I said, pretty straightforward. It's just needs you just need a little bit of practice. So ease off the clutch, find the friction zone, give it a little bit of gas, 
and I'll shift whenever I get over into the other parking lot. Kind of pulled forward a little too much. All right, so here I go. Let off the gas, pull in the clutch, kick it up in a second, and I revved it a little too high that time, and the bike jumped a little bit. But now I'm in second gear. All right, and that basically concludes my how to ride a motorcycle part two video. Uh, I just covered basic shifting. Um, I only got up into third gear. Just things that you should practice and uh, make sure that you have down pat. Um, one other thing is I usually ride without gloves. I know it's a horrible habit. I bought some nice gloves. I'm going to try to ride with them more. And uh, shifting is just a little different now. So it's just something you want to be aware of is know your limitations and stay in them. Ride in a parking lot. No cars around. You're not on a road. You're not endangering your life or anyone else's really. And just make sure that you get these core, core principles down. If you take a motorcycle safety course, you'll be practicing a lot of clutch control and a lot of weaving and turning and basic maneuvering that I'll try to cover in a later video. But just for now, just practice the clutch control, braking, and shifting down into first, and then up into second, and then back down into first as you slow down. Um, that concludes my video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Leave some comments, um, pointers, tips, anything else you want me to cover. Just let me know, and I'll be sure and try to cover them. Thanks for watching, everyone.